NFL Week 5 is almost here, so that means it's time to play our two favorite games for a chance to win a lot of money. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Jason Mattis, of course, with Winning Bets, hanging out with you guys on this episode. NFL Week Number 5. It's almost here. It starts here in a couple days, of course. And with that, we, of course, play our favorite games over on the NBC Sports Predictor app, where you can win $100,000. And, of course, over on the Fox Bet Super 6 app, where we can also, of course, win $100,000. I decided to go ahead and put two contests on one video this week. The reason I decided to go ahead and do that is because I wanted to make an announcement. Guys, my time is getting stretched thin and eh, just a lot coming down the pipe here. Most notably coming up here with the World Cup, starting to put a lot of my time and attention into that World Cup. We've got some great content coming down the pipes here, focused around that World Cup, preview shows and what have you. Then of course, throughout the World Cup, we'll be spitting out a lot of content, previewing each uh, you know match day as we kind of go through that World Cup. That being said, guys, the time that it takes to put in to do the videos here for this NBC Sports Predictor app, Boy, it just takes a lot of time to do that research and try and you know dive into the stats and the trends and try and you know answer these questions to the best of our ability. Uh, my time's getting stretched thin, and I don't want to be half-assing anything. And I can start to tell that you know, that is going to start to happen here. So, with that being said. This is going to be the last week, last week of doing the Fox Bet Super 6 app contest where we, you know, preview six games every single week. And also the last week here of doing the NBC Sports Predictor app. And of course, with this being my last week, this will be the last chance to go ahead and win my $25 with not being able to put out any content without giving out my picks. I'm not going to be giving out $25 each and every single week as well. So, all right, guys, this will be it. This will be it. Don't worry, though. The Premier League isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Love soccer. It's my absolute love. And same with NASCAR. That's not going anywhere anytime soon. There's only five more races. And, of course, we'll continue, you know, giving away $25 each and every single week for the remaining $5 and fully expect to bring that back next season with William Blackwell. We've had a, 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 a absolute joy the last couple seasons previewing each NASCAR race. And that's not going anywhere anytime soon. But in terms of just the football, the Sunday night football, just takes too much time. And again, just don't want to be half-assing anything and putting out any bad content or, you know, anything that's kind of rushed and uh, just uh, it's not the kind of content, not the kind of, not, it's just not what I want to do. So, all right, guys, here it is. This is the last week here. And again, your last chance to win my $25 over on the NBC Sports Predictor app. We did, of course, have a winner last week. We had a tie last week. So each of those individuals will be taking home $12.50. So make sure you hit me up on Twitter. Drop me your PayPal information, and I'll, of course, go ahead and send you guys the money. All right, good luck to you this week for a chance to win my $25. How are we going to go ahead and do it this week? Well, let's just go ahead and put up the answers, and we'll run right through them here. For this one, for Joe Burrow, we're going 230 to 259 passing and two touchdowns. The Ravens' defense is generally really sound on the front end, led by Kalis Campbell. Expecting the Bengals to have more success in this game through the air than on the running. So like Joe Burrow here, but it's still be tough. Good Ravens defense. Obviously, they're going to be looking to, you know, bounce back. They were up 20 to three against Buffalo, and you know, in their minds, let that one slip and get away from them. Obviously, you can obviously, uh, you can certainly question some of that coaching and some of that decision making towards the end of the game. But either way, uh, they're going to be looking a nice bounce back. Look for a good performance from the Ravens at home. So that's how we'll slot in Burrow. In terms of Lamar Jackson here for question number two, going 250 to 289 total yards. And think he'll account for two total touchdowns, whether that's passing and you know rushing. Think he'll get two total touchdowns right there for Joe Mixon. I'm not expecting him to have a huge night, so I've got him slotted in at 60 to 79 yards. Again, good Ravens front four, and I don't think he's going to find a touchdown. This guy has not been the touchdown machine that he was two seasons ago. Uh, struggling to find the end zone this you know season. I think he'll struggle to find the end zone again on Sunday night. In terms of who's going to have more production from the receiving standpoint, Jamar Chase. Or Mark Andrews. I like Mark Andrews. Uh, the Bengals have struggled a little bit so far this season in defending the tight end position. This is obviously a really good tight end and a guy that Lamar Jackson leans on a lot for production and yards. So we'll go ahead and like uh, Mark Andrews for receiving yards and also for touchdowns. I like him catching a touchdown this coming Sunday night. Who's going to be the first touchdown score? I like the Ravens at home to kind of jump out to a lead here. I'm going to go with any other player for the Ravens. 
just from a you know odds perspective right here. Of course, I like Mark Andrews, but for this one, I'm gonna go any other Ravens touchdown score. For the next one here, total touchdowns, I'm gonna lock myself into five. I think there'll be five total touchdowns with the Ravens more than likely being the team that gets three with the Bengals getting two. And then who's gonna win the game? I like the Ravens here. We know how Thursday night teams are generally you know, the success favors the home teams. Not only do the home teams win, but the home team covers the spread more times than not. Divisional game, though. Remember, of the 22 divisional games so far this season, 18 of them have been cash in the under. That's right, 22 divisional games, 18 have cashed the under. I mentioned that because obviously this is a divisional game. With that being said, I'm going Ravens, and I'm going Ravens to win the game by four to five points. Ravens to win it by four to five points. All right, and again, guys, this will be my last week to go ahead and take my $25. I wish you guys good luck. Moving over to Fox Bet Super 6. This is, of course, where you got to win six games. This this have, quite frankly, just kind of frustrates me altogether. It doesn't matter if it's this NFL contest or, you know, one of the college football contests, baseball. I just hate this app. I just don't think it's very fair. Doesn't think it's, you know, I, I think it rewards more luck than skill and research. And then that's kind of, you know, Kind of, kind of upsets me, right? Put in a lot of time to do the research of looking at trends, looking at you know the stats and the analysis, and I just think this game doesn't reward that, and, and it's just kind of all luck. So, really, just hate this game to be quite frankly. I'm gonna go ahead and do Vikings. They're gonna win the game by eight to ten. Vikings on eight to ten. Saints are four to five to me. They think the Saints win, but it'll be four to five. I like the Bills big going up against Kenny Pickett. Sean McDermott has generally eat up rookie quarterbacks over his tenure uh, as a Buffalo Bills head coach. I expect that to happen again on Sunday. So love the Bills here. Love the Bills big. In terms of the Lions, I like them going into Foxborough and getting a win. I like them winning this game by six points. Bucks, give me the Bucks by four to five. Like that. And then how about the how about the White Rifle there in Dallas? White Rifle and Cooper Rush, Rams struggling. I like the Cowboys defense a lot. I think the Cowboys will squeak one out. Maybe on a game-winning field goal, they'll put one through the uprights and they'll pull away with a one to two victory. So that's how we'll do it there on the Fox Bet Super 6 app. Again, these will be the last week week here competing for these two contests whether it be on the fox bet super six app or the nbc sports pick drop in terms of you know creating content and giving you guys my picks and with that the last chance to win my 25 all right guys enjoy good luck with your picks this week we'll see you guys on the next one that was a lot of fun don't forget to like comment subscribe and good luck with your picks if interested in placing real sports bets, then check out my latest daily free sports betting video in the bottom right corner. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next contest.